Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld Alpha 17. First of all, if you've stuck around for these past 100 episodes, now that we're at 101, thank you very much, and I appreciate the support. Just wanted to throw that out there, just so that you know that I know that you know that I know you exist. Anyway, I do appreciate all the support this series has gotten over time. If you ever think otherwise, well, then you're wrong. Anyway, we got Termite. We got Chaco up in here. We actually got a actual factual invasion from Engo. I can't believe it, but they actually came. And well, I guess we're going to be spending some medicine on Chaco here, probably. But these two are the only two who are like, young enough to even consider. And I doubt I'm going to recruit them, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm probably going to let Termite go. I should probably let them both go, which will improve my relations with the Union of Engo. I mean, right now, it's only a negative 100. It's only as bad as it can get, yo. All right. Look at that. I like... Man, I really do like this new face mod thing. The update to it, at least. It's so good. I like how they take their hats off. It's nice and polite, and it makes sense. Doesn't it, Petite? Doesn't it make sense? You bet it does. All right. We're growing rice. It's pretty great. Growing cotton here. It's pretty great. If we look down here, we're growing a lot more rice up in this direction. I mean, yeah, our food, and our meat and veggie ratio is actually pretty good. We're making meals like crazy. We have plenty of components. We have plenty of a lot of things. We need a little bit more muffalo wool. For some reason, that's like the thing we can't get right this moment. But we have things to make out of it. Dude, Alanya, I forgot that your hair was actually, like, amazing. Right, it kind of looks like you're you're wearing a furry, furry snail, but it still looks pretty darn cool. All right. Station, how you doing? Just planting some grass. Did this tall grass ever actually, like, do anything? No. That walk speed, I mean, it's, there you go, 100% grown. Well, there it is. The walk speed is the same. There's literally no reason to grow this tall grass other than it looks different. Don't get me wrong. There's regular grass. There's tall grass. It actually does look pretty nice. It looks like it's more filled out. And in that way, you could argue that it's a bit better looking. But I mean, you might as well put some freaking trees over here. Where's my pine trees? There's my pine trees. Get it done. Our pack of 10's fully healed. Fletch, fully healed. No, it's gonna take a while. Oh my god, you lost a leg and a tail. Jeez. And then we lost one dog entirely. I mean, that was... That fire was not the best thing in the world. Also, when we have some idle time, which we might not have for a while, I'm assuming there's plenty to hunt right now. Hello, termite. Goodbye, termite. Nice beard, by the way. Once um, we have some idle time, which people like Triple Strike, I'll probably have him run around to these just to get the cooldown done on them. But we'll let that happen when it happens. Do you have to... Do you actually have to take up the grass in order to grow the trees? Well, that seems a little bit ridiculous, but whatever. It is what it is, and that's all that it is. You can live with it. We got down here. Oh, even more dead people. You know what? There was probably... I bet you there was one that was not completely dead down here. How much you want to bet? Probably totally missed it. Didn't even know there was a fight down here. But yeah, these turrets probably shredded them. Didn't even stand a chance. Now, oh, well, more stuff to sell. That's one way to look at it, because I gotta be stone cold like that. Let's call it another bulk goods and, um... I want to say bulk goods and combat trader makes the most sense right now. Yeah, because we got some weapons and stuff here to sell. Got some that we got from the raid at the very least. Oh, we got to wait 19 hours. Okay, we'll do this tomorrow then. It's all well and good. Don't really want to make more weapons right now. I just don't think that's the best mode of action. Do want to get this wool couch done though. Good. What? is with our muffalo. They're just not putting out right now. Pepe's at 100%. Someone shear Pepe and Muffalo 19. Well, Alanya has done it. We have done it. And then we're carrying it in apparently a couple pieces at a time. 
not exactly efficient, especially when you actually split it into two pieces. That's like the opposite of efficient. That's kind of dumb. But I guess it is what it is. Hello. Hello, Alpaca 2. You just decided to come and hang out in the prison, as well as Petite. And Choco's just resting right now. Blood loss extreme. She should pull back. And then we can send her out of here. Did What's his name? Did Termite ever make it out? No, he has not yet. I mean, he might not. He's kind of starving. I don't want him to die. <laughs> his consciousness is a little low. But if he makes it off this map, he'll be fine. And he decided to go, like, the longest way possible. Because of course he did. Seven degrees outside. It is fine under this roof. And I have done it. Yes, I've done it. Normal. There you go. With a big old TV right in here. So you can relax in this room. Let the plants grow. Watch some TV. Or you can come in here and watch this big old sucker. This mega screen TV. And we got a bulk goods trader from the South Hattis Concord. Uh, okay. Cool. Nice to see you guys here. I'll, I'll take it. I'll just send random traders my way. Where are you actually leaving? Do you know where you're going, sir? Do you need do you need instructions? Do you need a guide? Do you need a peg leg? I can get you any of these things. Just get the hell out of here. Before your consciousness gets so low that you can't. Got a bit of a rainy thunderstorm going on. No complaints here. Alright. Three degrees outside? Did I see that right? I did. I did see that right. That's some cold temperature, dude. Surprisingly cold. Got some fires starting up, but that's okay. The rain will take them out right quick, they will. Come on, dude. You can make it. Don't die. That's all I ask. Because if you die, they're probably going to be mad at us even more. If he falls down, I'm going to give him a... Uh, I will give him a peg leg. Because then he can make it out a little bit quicker. Scarlet is pregnant. We're going to have more wolf puppies. I'm okay with that. All right. Termite, how you doing? You getting out, you're getting out of here, right? Fire. Oh, that's a bad place for a fire. Someone maybe deal with that, please? Volpe, can you take lynx meat? No, can you trade with Muse? Make me happy if if you could do that. I honestly have no idea if Termite's going to make it out of here. Good job poking that fire with your gun, Dismas. Okay, we got a bulk goods trader. I don't know why I didn't... Did I ask for this? Maybe I did and forgot about it. We could get components. Costs a lot. I don't want to sell some stuff so that I could... Uh, well, you know what? We'll sell 500 more chem fuel. There you go. Make sure I can summon a couple more traders after this is over. I mean, we got clothing to sell. Yeah, if it's below, if it's normal or below or below um, 80, we will sell it. I keep telling myself that, hoping that I'll actually remember that, and I probably will never remember that. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, er, no, that's still above 80. 83 is above 80, by the way. Just learning things all the time, aren't I? Normal. Nah, that's superior. Let's see. Normal toque. That can go. Normal cowboy hat. That can go. Let's see. A couple of more normal things. Yeah, we're getting rid of, rid of a lot of clothing here, but it will give our boys and girls something to do. Which I'm okay with them having stuff to do. I don't really want your quad refrigerator, but I thank you for bringing it anyway. I guess. 34 components is nothing to sneeze at, though. That's a good amount. Yeah, that's good. Thank you for your patronage. We will take your components. Where are the components? There they are. Uh, Volpe. Haul those in, please. You know how it goes. There you go. She has done it. All right. We thank you for your patronage. Choco, how you doing? I mean, I think you're getting better. It's just taking a while. Termite, how you doing? I mean, malnutrition is now minor. He could still walk. And Choco is no longer incapable of walking. Oh, and a lot of this. Look at all these rivals die, dude. Ango does not like each other. That's hilarious. Apparently, Choco. He does not like Choco either. 
come on, you can make it. Get the hell out. You're almost at the edge of glory. Oh, come on. He has done. Oh my God, you gotta go across around this mountain, really? He has done it. He's gone. Relations have improved by 15. Healthy is a relative term here, but we're gonna go with it. All right, now we just need to release like five more people and we might be in a decent shape. We actually have to release more than that to get to uh, zero. Guys, why do we have the generators at all if we're just gonna let them go out like that? And you know what? Our um, power situation is fine right now, so we should turn these off. Oh yeah, we're just wasting uh, wood at this rate. So we'll turn those off, and of course people will get on that right away, because you know, flipping switches is a lot easier, easier than hauling wood. I think these are working okay. I think these are fine. I appreciate the love and suggestion that went into it. Growing some berries, got some rice. I mean, our veggie situation is getting better literally all the time. Growing grass. Yeah, our and we got 400 hay. I don't even know where that came from. I think it was uh, picked up from outside. It's all wild hay, but it's good. It's very good. There you go. Sow some more grass. Yeah, why not? Tell that grass to take it. Take that soil. Eh, we got some uh, more mining going on over here. Let's check our... Oh, this one's empty. So, that goes. We'll replace it. I think this... This has enough to be worth it. Put it right here. That works. Solar flare is... Uh, it's obviously awful. <laughs> but that's fine. I can live, I can deal with a little bit of solar flare in our life. This area over here needs to be redone. I don't remember what this was. So I'm going to place a drill right here so that we can find that out. If it was steel, then we want all of it. If it's not steel, then I don't, I don't even know. Oh, well, there goes the penetrating scanner. All right, well, now what? Tri oh, now you're freaking idle, triple strike. Okay. You know, that works still. Playing Hoop and Arrows. I mean, it is the best game that's ever been made, but other than RimWorld. But let's go ahead and get these things charged down. There you go. Thank you, sir. We got nothing better to do. Might as well get these down to zero. Isn't that right, Dagwood? That's right. That's right. You wander. Okay, two, one, zero. That one's good to go. This one. Let's go. Perfect. I don't know why there. he's like, he wants to aim it up here for some reason. A battery broke down. That's obviously terrible. All right, this one, it's ready to go. This one, this one's ready to go already. This one, ready to go. Any of these? Yep, this one needs to be charged. Let that one charge next. And actually, all the bottom ones need to be charged. Good. That one's ready. Here we go. Good stuff, good stuff. This will make sure that we can do a full volley next time uh, something happens. We can kind of just shoot all eight at the same time and make everyone rue their life. 0 0.57 chance to recruit. Well, I mean, that is a number. That is a number that tells me that there's probably no chance. We're going to let her recover and then send her out and get some relations, I guess. Good. He's done it. Thank you, Triple Strike. That was very helpful. Solar flare is over. And it's going to take god dang forever for everything to turn back on. But while we're waiting, look at this battery fill up. Holy crap. <laughs> Things filling up like crazy. A muffalo is pregnant. Holy crap. I think it's this, oh, it's this one out here. Okay. And we're getting some plasteel. I mean, dude, we have made packed lunches. We've actually made a packed lunch. There it is. 0.9 nutrition. Perfect to take with you at work. To work. 0.9 nutrition. Is that better than a simple meal? Nah, it's the same. Better than a fine meal? Nah, it's the same. It's all the same. It's all the same. That's fine, though. It's good. No complaints there. Oh, this was made out of a simple meal. It tells you. Yeah, cool. Fresh and frozen. Both at the same time. Yeah. Is fresh frozen a new thing that I'm not aware of, or does that... 
was that actually just moved r- down into the wrong spot. I think it might have just been moved into the wrong spot. I- I'm getting to the point where I'm about to just not let animals in here because you're eating our meals. No offense, but there's food for you now. You don't need in here. Yeah, don't come in here and eat our meals. You know, I could even excuse you coming in here to eat the raw meat. But don't eat our meals. All right. That's the rule. Okay. Is there another one that's allowed in here that I need to fix? No. I mean, area one. That's for our colonists, though. Dude, I haven't changed area one in forever. Look how small area one was. Oh, my God. Dude, this takes me back. Remember when our colony was this freaking tiny? I don't. What do you think I am? Pepperidge Farm? I mean, this is ba It's basically home area now. I see no reason to change it. Fletch, you're going to recover, right? Well, I hope you are. You're only four years old. You deserve better than this. All right, electricity is going down, but that's fine. Got plenty of power going for now. Let everyone sleep for the night. And then in the morning, things will happen. All right. I'm up and about. There I am. I'm like, woo, we're gonna, we're gonna build some sandstone walls. Oh, that's not good. That one's mildly acceptable as long as there's not a raid right away. Okay, the wall is done. Finally, it took way too many episodes for that to get finished. But it is! That's what's important. Alright, moisture pump's growing a little bit. It'll grow to here soon, and I believe I can put uh, stuff over the mud. Again, I don't remember for sure. How you doing, Alpaca 4? Is this, is this precision turret making you feel comfortable here? Make you feel safe? Makes me feel safe. I feel safe with turrets about. So I'm going to repair this thing, like me. There we go. I'm going. I'm going. We're not going to get this recruit. I can keep trying until you're completely recovered, but after that, we're probably just going to get the heck out of here. All right. Dude, what is that weapon you got? Incendiary launcher? Poor. Sniper rifle? I mean, nice helmet. I'll give you that. Adiemus. I mean, it's shoddy, but it's a power armor helmet, so it's still pretty nice. All right. All done and fixed. Got 176 components. Is that actually insane? It might be. And I think we got this thing drained all the way. Poison ship, eh? This is steel, so I am going to want it eventually. All right. Poison ship. There she is. Am I scared? <laughs> oh, you're a funny guy. Okay. Let's rock this, Amadeus. Let's go. What are you... Do you write... Were you hunting something again? I think you were hunting something again. Anyway, this thing stands no chance. So, I guess... We'll shoot eight. And I shouldn't do the fire, because the fire might actually destroy the ship. So, here's the plan. Gigi, you're here. Akuja, you're here. Visitors, you're somewhere. You're there. You're there. South Hattis Concord. More items to trade. I mean, I really don't need this. Volpe, you can do the honors. Start with these four. Tell them to shoot that whoop. All right. First volley is go. Very good. They are... I think they're already coming towards it. They are. It's not what I expected. Come on, Volpe. I'm telling you, aim at one of them, so you should... Oh, this. This is where we want to aim. Hell yeah. All right. Everyone, scoot your boots. Uh, let's see. There are some people I don't want... First of all, everyone's in the home area for now. Wish there was an emergency button that you could make everyone go to the home area for. Omega, you're good to go. Pepsi, switch over to EMPs. Duster, do we have extra EMPs? We do. Duster. Grab EMPs as a sidearm and we'll have you switch to it. Silvermane, you're good to go. Everyone else, you're going down here. Okay. There we go. Good, good, good. All of you plus d right. Where's d right? Oh, he, I just selected him for some reason. And Duster. Duster's moving. Once he grabs the uh, correct grenades, we can get him out. This should be a good stomp in our favor right here. 
this fight right here at least when the centipedes get here it'll get a little bit tougher but until then we should have this as a stomp we're gonna move down to this area duster switch over to the other there we go we'll go dual emps two of them are down already third one's getting shot at our shredder turret took some damage Chalco's fully healed, so we're probably going to take her out of the colony. And by take her out, I mean, you know, let her leave. Let's see. You got a charge blaster. Minigun. Not scared of that. Radiation cannon I'm kind of scared of because from what I understand, that can cause some really bad stuff to happen to your face. And the rest of you. So, not a fan right this second. This guy needs to go. <laughs> All right. I tell you what. Dismas, let's bring you over here. Pretty sure you can shoot from there. You can. Cannot hit target. Cannot hit target. Oh. Wait, did you take one out? No, you did not. There we go. Can hit target. 50%. What is he actually doing? Melee attacking wild boar 14. Well, I'm happy you're dead now. Von Child doing some stealth repairs. Look how he took his hat off there because that's technically indoors. All right. We're just going to wait for the big guy. He's not going to get close enough. Dude! You are a jerk. You are a maximum jerk. You know what? Undraft everyone else. Dismas pretty much has... I mean, Callie, Callie, you can go too. Callie, you come down here. That's right, you have a sniper. Snipers are technically all we need here. All right, I'm kind of mad at you specifically. Va Von Sch what are you actually doing? I mean, yes, that's home area, but you're not allowed to walk outside the home area. Why are you down here? You... You're inside, dude. That's your order. I don't understand. Oh, yeah. The bigger size bigger they are, the harder they fall, as they say. Let's go down here. Try to sneak around the side a bit. I don't know how much cover a deep drill gives you, 50%, but that should be close enough for Dismas to take shots, and that's kind of what I want. What's his accuracy here? 95? I mean, come on. And for Cali? That good enough! Oh, yeah. Nice shot. Sniper rifle right to the fifth body ring. It's where it hurts, by the way, if you didn't know. Okay. Let's go. Gotta shut these bad boys down. Excellent. They've all lost their arms. Oh, no, this one has both arms still. That's good. Possibly perfect. Definitely professional. I guess we'll grab the minigun, too. And then we gotta shut down that poison ship. You took some damage, Muffalo 9. How you doing? Ugh. You might miscarry. I don't want you to. Obviously. Von Child, you're good to move about the country. Callie and Dismas? Let's tear this thing apart. All right. Gonna move down here, I think. I just need you to be able to shoot it. That's all I care about. I assume your accuracy on this thing is, should be 100%. And your weapons do plenty of damage to it. Um, hello, Sal4. H how you doing? Uh, can we not have the Sal's follow drafted colonist, please? That, that, that'd be nice. <laughs> I'm guessing they were newly... He's a new adult. Or she's a new adult, I should say. Sal4. At least she's in perfect health. All right, we'll, we'll take this thing out here. Just take some time. We got time. Triple Strike would like to help, but a little late on that. It's a goner, man. Why waste the time? All right. Give me just 20 reactors. There's one, and I'll take it. All right. Reactor, heavy charge blaster turret. Which can go... How? I don't even know. I don't care too much about these turrets, so... 
We'll just put it like right here. They don't do much for me. All right. So that's all well and good. Now this, the ship reactor, that does much for me. And you're going to go in the pile. There you go. <laughs> we have plenty of ship reactors. Definitely got to give me that. 2048. I could put one down here. Make another defensive area. That actually does not seem like that bad of an idea. Scarlet, what happened to you? You were bitten by a hair. I guess you'll be all right. Maybe I should do that. I'm thinking about it. Don't forbid this, by the way. Move it. Wait. It, because it's forbidden, did it not get... It's not going to get moved. Of course not. We'll put it on this one instead. All right. Yeah, let's put this down here. Somewhere where everyone can just say, Hey, please don't kill me. And we'll go, no, we're going to kill you. Like right about there. All right. And then, of course, if we're going to do that, we're going to have to put Plasteel around it. You know, five Plasteel per wall segment, not bad at all. So we just Plasteel it up. And then we'll put some of our excess stuff out there next to it. Go ahead and do a Plasteel door in front. There we go. What do we got? Uh, three, six, seven pieces here. So that's 35 plus 25. I'm doing my math right. I might not be, but that's 60 flat steel. I mean, we can kind of afford that. And then, of course, we put turrets around it. So, hey, this military-grade turret can finally move. All right. So, fences are next. We're going to do chain link. I'm going to do like so, I think. It's a good length of... Oh, uh, well, I just kind of goofed that troop up a bit. I'm going to bring it out one more. And then put in a cancel order for these. There you go. There you go. Agave is rotted due to being unharvested. I know this is uneven. Don't even talk to me right now about it. But that's going to work. Then a hydroponics? No! Our corn! Rice! Stuff! Wait. Okay, th so the growth rate is going down. I assume... No, it's going down because the sun's going down. Is it just going to live? I don't, I don't understand... I'm just hoping. Okay, so a bulk goods trader from South Andoran has shown up. And apparently, Norma, not not Norma, someone over here, Gigi, your husband's back. Jerry, I think we saw you before. I want to say we have. Anyway, we're going to get this spot done. We're going to unrestrict everyone from home area because I forgot that was a thing that we just did. That's probably why Triple Strike was idle. Oh yeah, we also need at least one spot up here to be a opening. So there's the fence gate. Boom. And want to put some steel flooring underneath. There you go. One colonist is idle. Triple strike. And you know, with that done, we can actually like tell this to move over here instead. So I guess that'll go right here. And then this will go right here. That'll work for now. And then of course we'll want to put some more precision turrets eventually. In fact, I could move them up now. Could go, you know what? Move this here. Move this one here. And then I'm thinking maybe move these. Ah. Uh, it's not going to be able to support this many turrets. I still kind of like the idea. We'll have those there, and then the precision turrets can stay back here. That'll work. That should work with no problem. All right, dismiss a minor break risk because divorced. I, I get that. Kind of. Eat without table. I mean, that's what pushes you over the edge right there. Eat When you eat a fine meal without a fine table, why even eat the meal? Might as well just starved yourself. And isn't that really how we all know it? Got a packaged survival meal sitting somewhere. There it is. Hot dang. Wooden auto door broke down. Hot dang. <laughs> Using up uh, all kinds of components for a bunch of repair crap. Anyway, things are getting moved. Things are happening. 
We're of course gonna move everything else before we move the actual turret over. Even though this one got moved over relatively early, so I have no idea what we're doing. But apparently I'm the one who's deciding to repair. What in the world? Yo, can we like not have turrets break down every five seconds, please? You guys are gonna have to wait till morning. Plus, I don't even know where your traitor is. He's probably up here somewhere asleep. Let me guess. You're the actual traitor. Yep. So we're gonna have to wait for you anyway. So whatever. Whatever, man. Eating a fine meal of Choco. I mean, I guess you could do that. Not incredibly happy about that idea. Why do you have a triangle over your face? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, because there was probably an order to like... You take your clothes off. Yeah, why don't we have your clothes yet? Give me that. There we go. Oh, now, now you're gonna talk to her. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Naked and hungry. There's clothes here. You could take it. Not the clothes you were wearing, though. You're not allowed to take that. Oh, you. Okay, there you go. Tribal wear clothing is fine. All right. Good stuff. No longer naked. 0.58% chance. Now let's get her out of here. She's not going to join us. We're considered spacers at this point Oop. when it comes to research. So, I mean, it's so good. It doesn't even show you. Oh, I'm sorry. We're transcendent. We're beyond spacers. We are the best that this universe has to offer, apparently. We've gone beyond the physical form. We are nearly metaphysical, as you can see. Look at me metaphysically repair this freaking turret. Beautiful. It's like a whole new universe. Anyway. That is going to be it for this episode of That Plays RimWorld Alpha 17. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you have not already, feel free to, sur to uh, subscribe. I almost said survive for more. Yes, please survive for the next episode. If you end up dead before the next episode, I will be very disappointed in you. But thank you for watching this episode of That Plays RimWorld Alpha 17. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video. Let's go ahead and let Chaco go. There you go. Beautiful. Thanks for watching.